So number 21343 is the Viking Village. That is the official name given by LEGO, and it has a piece count of 2,103 parts, which in my opinion is very good. Now you might ask, what is the price for this set? And this is where it gets kind of crazy. For $130, you can pick up this bad boy with a footprint that is pretty big. Um, I mean, for its for its price and then for its size, a footprint that is pretty big and has two over 2,000 parts is is honestly a crazy deal in the way LEGO has been going. Um, that's a future video for another time. Yeah, LEGO prices has been skyrocketing lately, especially on the um, licensed uh, themes. Now, not so much on the creator and ideas sets, but uh, it just seems like LEGO is going up and up and up. I understand that there are a lot of small parts on this, so that is why, um, one reason why, you know, there is so many more parts, because um, there are not a ton of big pieces, but still, it's just nice to see, and this definitely feels like $130. This, this feels almost like $170, $180 set, in my opinion. We're gonna give you the one kind of drawback of this set, but all the other amazing positives, all the good details. The building process for this set, honestly, was not anything to, like, you know, scream about. I mean, there were a lot of uh, some good techniques, like snot bricks, um, it's not techniques that just kind of, like, when you fit it in, it just, like, had that satisfaction it's like click and it's like oh yes yes that is good um there were a couple of those moments i mean you know, rivendell was like packed with those but this there was a couple of those moments and um so the building techniques overall were um pretty remarkable and pretty good i mean nothing like earth shattering <laughs> Starting off with the blacksmith session, this is the first one that you do build. And um, so yes, this is just kind of a remarkable building technique as far as the building goes. And so anyway, but you had this beautiful kind of medium nougat kind of um, wood paneling basically that wraps around the back of it. And then you have those pillars that come up to, you know, give the, the cabin kind of feel to it. Um, the roof is beautiful uh, design as well. It um, has that snot technique and it kind of has tiled off. So it's very good and that and then the chimney as well is very cool and it's designed it has a little bit of tan brick and the um, dark and light bluish gray kind of working together there this there is a function inside the thing which is a kind of a um, I forgot what they're called but basically a blower for the fire I'm pretty sure which is kind of cool to see and you do have some other uh, helmets swords shields all that kind of good stuff and the, the fire is uh, pretty cool as well I think it does move up and down which is cool and um, so yeah, you get some nice details, a little water pot there for cooling of your stuff. So I mean, this is a pretty cool thing. Um, it seems a little bit tight to actually like play in there, but definitely for display, you know, this looks very cool. Coming out to the outside of it, um, there is this really cool tree. And the, the two tree designs on this is quite frankly uh, fantastic in my opinion, because you get, I think, the first ever cedar tree I've seen in LEGO that looks this good. Um, I don't have a ton of knowledge on like every single Lego set out there um, and maybe some of the newer stuff like um, maybe in the last like one or two years I haven't kept up with like every single Lego set that's released so maybe I am mistaken here but I believe this is the first especially winter uh, cedar tree we've ever seen using that new fern piece which of course came out in the 2023 Rivendell set and so this just really is a nice part usage there to make that happen and then also the pine tree as well I think this has done been done before so it's not like anything crazy but it's still just a cool thing um, something that I haven't seen before though is the root um, which is you can see that kind of like burst out of the shoreline which is very nice and uh, that's just something to be really excited about the last final thing basically on this is the, of course, the shoreline is very nicely done um, and it's, there's no sides that like, oh, that's the back side. Like, there's no back side to this, which I really like. Mound, I guess you'll say, some, some sort of like stone forming. I don't know what you would call that, but probably your Norse mythology fans will uh, roast me in the comments about how I don't know about Viking culture, because I don't. But anyway, moving on. Um, the main hall is um, very, very good here. So uh, starting off, you kind of have this, the beginning of the dock kind of area, scaffolding across the uh, sea there. Um, so I think this is very cool there. And then um, you got some stonework and then a nice little light staircase going up into the thing. And you can open these doors, which are very nice. And um, 
yeah, that kind of leads you into the main hall. But before we do that, we're going to take a look at this outside. Um, it's just beautifully detailed, again, with that kind of log cabin-y feel that I really get from the sides. Um, beautiful windows and just like the whole kind of Viking kind of uh, feel to it. In the front also, on the roof section, um, starting out at the roof, there's those uh, printed elements, which really, really cool. The kind of... Um, uh, sea monster kind of thing I think is right there it looks like a snake to me but I'm pretty sure it's like a sea monster kind of thing which is very cool to see um, and that is a brand new print there are no stickers in this set which I absolutely fantastically love um, so they did do a couple of new prints for this set which I, I really like um, the roof detailing is great um, nothing like huge to say about that it's 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 pretty good um, and then also they use Technic um, log kind of pieces on the top to kind of, you know, make that top log section. Accessing the interior, just lift this whole roof section off. It's very sturdy, and so you can really like, you know, you don't have to worry about it breaking on you. And then on the interior, oh baby, here we go. So there's kind of this like communal fire in the middle where you can cook stuff or have meetings or whatever you want to do. And then there's shield spears on the wall and then kind of a dining um, table on the other side. So I do I do feel like it is a little bit condensed, um, but you know, you are working with a limited budget. And again, this is $130 to pack all this in. So, you know, if Lego wanted to make a $250 UCS, style um, Viking hall they could do that but then you don't have that kind of more playset value where you have other stuff so I understand why they had to do this um, and then also the throne is very good um, they use this kind of weird um, where it has like a clip and then it has uh, this kind of thing I don't know if that's a new part or if it came out in a Ninjago set or something like that it probably did <laughs> Now going on to my absolute favorite section of this build, the dock slash swinging bridge slash tower slash other tower section. I don't know what the name of this section, but it's very cool. Um, so this does seamlessly fit against the main hall, which is very nice to see. And the my most favorite thing about this is one, the staircase going up. All this is just beautiful to see in Lego. Um, I know they've done other snot techniques, but I just haven't seen it used like in every set and I like that they're starting to use it a whole lot more um, and so that's great to see but um, the staircase is just awesome um, I just love how they did that and the whole the rock work like going up to this tower is very nice how it this kind of has those um, those wedges on the side and a mixture of regular build and snot build and it's just very nice to see and they also had that weird olive green piece which I still think is knockoff every time I see it but it's actually a Lego piece um, which is you know it's it's a cool piece so thank you Lego for making it it just looks like a knockoff when I'm uh, building with it um, and uh, yeah the the overall tower is gorgeous in my opinion the awnings are incredible I love how they did the awnings and the roof and the the uh, medium nougat um, kind of accent and the tan and just the colors the dark tan brick and then the dark brown it's just like all my favorite colors just combined in like they if they could use a sand green somehow which I know they can't but like if they use sand green and dark blue in this then it would be my favorite it would be all my favorite colors um, but anyway it's very cool to see um, and then what's kind of a little bit strange in my opinion is on the bottom of the tower we have this kind of copper cave or some sort of cave that has something in it. I think it's copper. Um, it, it just seems strange to me why they would do that. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's cool, but it's just weird, so I don't know. I mean, um, it's kind of a, a thing kind of to diversify the Vikings as like not bloodthirsty killers. Um, and they kind of, you know, more of an artistic, um, you know, cultured individual civilization. So, you know, I get that, but it, it still just seems a little bit strange to me, but I do like the detailing and all the work around it. The rock work especially is just gorgeous in that section. The interior for this one seems a little bit lackluster in my opinion. I mean, you have this pumpkin, uh, which is weird to see, and then also a cherry. I don't know why there would be cherries in here. And then there's some kind of desk. I don't know, it just seems very strange to me. Um, I would have liked to see maybe a uh, little like apartment style kind of thing where like someone would be living there, not just a weird random thing that has one pumpkin, one, two cherries and a desk. It just seems kind of weird to me. You have a ladder going up to uh, the top of this tower section, which leads you over to the hanging bridge, which is very nice to see. I don't know if this was actually historically accurate or not, but I don't care. 
I like it anyway. And um, it goes over to the watchtower kind of thing, which is very cool as well. That is beautiful because it has that rock work again kind of leading up to that, but then it just looks very nice. Um, and so anyway, um, the only thing left to really talk about is the barrels, which are very nice, printed, a new printed piece, and I love that kind of barrel design, um, which is very cool, where they were keeping apple juice, of course. Not, it's not, it's not what you think it is, ladies and gentlemen, it's apple juice. And, um, and then also fish as well, where they've strung up. And I, I wish this would have leaned in more to the fishing village kind of thing, because like, yeah, it's a fishing village, but it only has two fish in it entirely. Like, I don't know, It that seems a bit strange to me, but oh well, whatever, what are you gonna do about it? I mean, I would have liked to see maybe a like little boat or something, like maybe a, a tiny boat to go along with this that would like be going out and fishing or whatever. Um, I, I don't know, it, it seems a bit strange to me or it's like some people actively fishing, like a figure actively fishing, I don't know. So now let's get on to the kind of one drawback of this set, which in one is a very plus of this set, but then it's also a drawback at the same time. So the minifigures, I love the minifigures. The minifigures that are included in this set are great, however, why is there only four? Um, it just seems very underpopulated for a village type thing, especially when the ship had six minifigures. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. Now, the actual figures themselves are very nice. Um, you get this very cool um, leg prints on all of them, which we've never seen before with Vikings. So that is remarkable to see. All the weapons are nice. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, the shields are very cool. Um, I love the shields. So, you know, all that said, that they're, they're very good figures. It's just, why is there only four? Um, and especially why is one of them, like, the, the, the faces are a little too expressive in my opinion. Like, all of them are smiling. I, I just don't think every single person in that village would be smiling. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, but anyway, um... I still just think that, and, and also they kind of look too young. There's no beards. There's no that like classic Viking beard kind of thing, which I think would be good to see, um, you know. But other than that, the minifigures are nice. So, I mean, I know I'm kind of complaining about the figures, but I, I still like the figures. I just feel like there was some missed opportunities there to add maybe one or two extra figures. And um, anyway, also the other thing is I feel like the village itself is is very nice like the set $130 it is a remarkable value for this uh, for this but I feel like it just is missing more um, and and I understand $130 you could not add anymore so I'm not asking like a like you know why why didn't you add more parts you know I mean I think for what you're getting it is a very good set um, but you know I, I feel like they're could have been more and I feel like they could have made it like a $200 set and add like one or two more buildings or even a you know, $250 set and add a couple more buildings and really kind of make this a lot better. Um, again, I really like what's done here. I just think it could be bigger. So there you go. There's the review. I think it is a remarkable set um, for the price and, and the detailing is great. Like all the, all the details are great. It's very nice. I love it. And um, I wish Lego would make more stuff like this, even get a Viking line or a castle line or a pirate's line. But I feel like they're going to limit it to the big slap face, especially with pirates and castle, where pay us $200, pay us $300, pay us $400 or whatever. And we're going to give you a really awesome set, but we're only going to give you one. Um, you know, I wish they would go ahead and do a themed line about this. Um, foggy, seriously. Seriously? Anyway, Fog Foggy agrees with me, of course. And no, you don't think about going over there. No. No. No, no, kid. You're not going over there. And block the camera view. Anyway, um, but... Yes, um... Where was I? So, anyway, I feel like Lego's going in the direction of, um, you know, give us money, give us, um all this and we're going to give you one set and not give you a whole line which i wish they would give us a whole line um anyway other than that thank you guys for watching um be sure to subscribe and foggy no you can't go over there kid you're not allowed over there kid that's the one place in the house you're not allowed all right anyway um but um yeah, so that's the review. Thank you guys for watching. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Um, but uh, yeah, 
that's it. Um, go buy the set. I like it, even though this video seems like a complaint the whole time. See you guys in the next one, and um, goodbye.